All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Today I'm going to do a whipping chat. I had wanted to do another color and chat, but uh, I totally got distracted today, so <laughs> threw that off kilter big time. Okay, oh, just try again tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just do what I can. Yeah, Just take a deep breath and do what you can on a day. Okay, so I'm working on Diamond Art Club's I Am by Ravine Phelan. Alright, it's this dragon. It is a round, which is 20 inches by 28 inches, 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters, 29 colors, and two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis. They're just a sparklier uh, color of gem or series of diamonds, like drills, sorry. Diamonds, drills, yeah. <laughs> and any DMC code under 150 is considered uh, an AB. Holy cow, my brain's just like everywhere today. But anyway, there we go. Nice to see you. Yeah, I did do a color and chat earlier today, and then my day just went into a totally different direction. Not what I wanted to do, but oh, you gotta live minute to minute. So, oh, well, here now we're gonna hang out, you regardless for the hour. That's my pure intent of doing these whipping chats and coloring chats so yeah welcome to echoes of color okay here we go let's uh hang out for now <laughs> how about that okay we're gonna with 947 just this uh dark orange and we'll just dive right in right. hopefully everybody's had a wonderful day <laughs> My day was just full of errands, and yeah, yeah, just uh, controlled chaos. <laughs> and I'm like breathing in cat hair and uh, whatever else is going on. Okay, here we go. All right. So I got this orange going here. Just some shading for the dragon's neck here. Yeah. Uh, sections. Oh, excuse me, finishing up pretty quick. And yeah, I've seen a couple of Facebook posts today. Uh, some people have really nice craft rooms. <laughs> uh, drafting table and then tons of storage for their, uh, whatever their crafts are. Really nice craft rooms, like dedicated to diamond painting or, yeah, it's really nice. It's always been that one picture where uh, somebody diamond paints out on their deck or by a window, which is really nice and it's like the view of a lake or something yeah really nice we kind of have like uh shades on our, on our window like they're translucent but they're like a white fabric that kind of blocks the sunlight because before i literally had butcher paper taped onto the window to stop the light from reflecting off the glass of the drafting table and blinding me so yeah <laughs> yeah it's just one of those <laughs> kind of things much better now all our windows are in the studio here now have that uh those kind of drapes on them curtains The idea of the windows was to let natural light in to look at the true color of fabric, etc. for quilting, rug hugging, etc. My parents' business, 
and the compromise was to uh, get these kind of curtains instead of me using painter's tape and putting butcher paper up on the window it looks better aesthetically yeah it, it just presents better as contemplated getting like some sort of a flag or a fleece sheet or something to put up on the window but yeah we got these kind of nice white curtains and uh, yeah it works out still it's light in but you're not I'm not gonna get blinded by reflections off the desk so or off the drafting table here so all good lovely So yeah, my dad's been off this week, what is it, like Wednesday night, and uh, yeah, he's, yeah, just taking a week off of work, uh, we got a new water heater Tuesday, yeah, that's right, a new water heater, so the other one wore out, so plumber came and installed that while I was at work on Tuesday came back and had a shower with nice hot water yeah the water heater just aged out so yeah heating coil or something went so oh well, it's all good so everything has a time this season so it was the water heater's turn to uh, wear it but all good Problem solved. We have good timing because uh, prices of water heaters were are going up by the end of this week for some reason. I guess it's a supply chain thing, or I don't know what uh, the manufacturers of water heaters decided to do: raise the prices, make it even harder to get a water heater I don't know supply and demand because of COVID I guess but I don't know it's just a little yeah it's crazy <laughs> all right there's some of uh... yeah I'll just finish over here nice orange yeah scales again yeah <laughs> Kind of has that uh, nice, easy to follow flow to place the drills. Drills, diamonds, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called diamond painting, and then I usually call them drills. So if you hear drills or diamonds, I'm talking about the same thing. These are drills that I'm putting onto the canvas. So just a little terminology for you. Yeah, it's always good to get different terminology out and about. Oh, okay, I haven't done one yet. Okay, that must be number two for the AB. Okay, I'm like seeing a number one, a couple number ones just on the canvas still. I guess, yeah, it's because of the order I'm doing the symbols in. It's all good, don't mind me. <laughs> uh, I get the canvas filled in here regardless. Yep. And yeah, I this was a huge section, but the canvas finish finishes eventually. Fills in nicely eventually. Okay. So yeah, I seen that Miss Coffee is almost done her Where the Fun Never Ends at uh, that Adventure Time canvas. And a couple of people have uh, finished their canvas as well, the same canvas. So good job. Congratulations. That is excellent work done by all. And excellent work to everybody who's just recently finished a canvas. 
And while I'm at it, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Or any time you're watching this video, and it's your birthday, happy birthday. There you go. <laughs> Just handing out all the happy stuff today. There you go. Yeah, just make it a part of every video. <laughs> I then have to remember to say that every time. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll never have to read a happy birthday on Facebook. Just come watch my uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> to get a happy birthday <laughs> for my goes of color here you go this random guy said happy birthday to me on in a youtube video uh should be freaked out yes yes a creepy diamond painter on youtube said happy birthday to you sure go for it <laughs> i don't know it i to have an intro and an outro kind of thing. Let's see. Just do the. Yeah. Probably wig it in. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. I need to expect it every time and be like, oh, I didn't say it today. How dare. Somebody going in the comments. <laughs> I didn't say happy birthday today. You forgot. How dare. Re record this. <laughs> Oh well, I don't know. Just content. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you just get sick and tired of hearing that? Happy birthday. I don't know if you're not your birthday when you're watching it. It's like, oh. <laughs> but it's not my birthday. Why are you saying this? It's kind of a hit or miss statement for some people, I guess, then. <laughs> it's not my birthday. But if it was your birthday today, happy birthday. There you go. It, it's hit or miss, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well. Here. Well, just hang out in diamond paint. That. That's... Guaranteed right now. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Just slapping some orange drills down here on the canvas. And we'll see what other colors. Yeah, there's just a few more up here. This orange, and then we can switch it. See what color we get next. <laughs> very nice. This is a very beautiful canvas once it's uh, all done and framed. Uh, seen a post recently about this canvas. Very nice. Yeah, I mentioned somewhere on Facebook that I do, yeah, I commented on somebody's, like, thread in a uh, diamond painting group that I kind of do a snake uh, sectioning method <laughs> from, like, right to left, bottom to top, and then left to right. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned it. Somebody was talking about like sectioning their uh, canvases. Or what would you consider a section? Yeah, this is probably a combination of topics like uh, how big is a section in a diamond painting? Uh, fairly good question. Uh, there are. Uh, alternate cover papers which uh, are rectangular in nature and you can uh, there are certain uh, excuse me length and width and that could be considered a section 
And yeah, I probably mentioned that, uh, yeah, you can take one of those sheets off anywhere on the canvas and then just start there, exposing that section of the adhesive that the paper was on, the cover paper. Never wax paper. Never use wax paper on diamond painting, diamond painting canvas adhesive. No wax paper. No. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Do not. You will ruin your canvas for sure. But yeah, uh, section could be yeah gigantic swath. This is just a clear cover, standard issue. It came with the kit, and I'm just pulling it back, exposing the sections that I'm working on on the canvas. I just, yeah, as you have seen in past Whippin' Chats, or I'll mention it now, I just kind of make a barrier with drills, a certain color drills that are on the edge of where I'm working and along the top of the section to where I'm working. Yeah, and then I can just focus in diamond paint in that section. So a uh, section could be this whole row if you wanted to. Yeah, the other half's not showing, it's already done, but yeah, a section can be, yeah, it could be a column as well. But yeah, I'm just doing horizontal and a serpentine kind of, yeah. Is I'll finish this section and then go right up to the dragon's, back of the dragon's neck. And then part of the, like this is the dragon's like head rig right here. So I'm gonna go up, probably a generous swath just to cover the head. Yeah, and then I'm going to roll this, the lower half of the canvas that I already have completed. Like this is completed here. Well, almost. Yep. I'm rolling the canvas with the drills facing outward very gently. Just kind of like gently rolling the canvas and clipping it with uh, clothespins that have uh, rubbers on the tong end. Yep. And then the top part of the canvas, which I'm unrolling, is rolled with the adhesive in. It's incomplete at the moment. But yeah, roll roll the bottom, drills out as you complete. And uh, yeah, unroll. Yeah, it's, it's basically a scroll, to be blunt. And canvas is basically a scroll at this point. And it keeps the canvas still. I can film a specific record, a specific section, and I don't have to worry about the canvas unfurling or anything. So, and of course, my uh, drafting table is lying down flat for this canvas with the chalk pins in. I, it was creative to record. <laughs> I kind of had to mess with the clip a bit more. I broke the clip at one point and had to get Gorilla Glue. Do not put that in your hair. Do not put Gorilla Glue in your hair or have it contact your skin. Do not swallow. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do not eat it. Do not put Gorilla Glue in your hair or any... Let it touch your skin. Okay, just saying. Stuff has happened, and yeah, you've probably heard about... There's like spray Gorilla Glue, and some woman put it in her hair, and she had a nightmare type issue. She had to go to the hospital to get medical attention, in other words. So be very careful of super glue or Gorilla Glue in general. Just... Minimize skin contact, keep it away from your eyes, don't ingest it, keep it away from children. Yes, let's not fool around with adhesives, liquid adhesives. This adhesive, yeah, you'll feel it 
how I feel with my arm here. If my arm ends up on an exposed part of it adhesive, it will pull off, but yeah, you'll feel it. I'll feel it with my hair, arm hair. But it comes off and you may get the odd stray hair going on it. But yeah, a pair of tweezers usually lifts the piece of hair off. A gentle adhesive, enough for the drills to stick and stay on there. But Gorilla Glue or Super Glue? Mm, please be very careful. It probably does work, but uh, only for what it's intended to work for. Okay, so please be careful. I want everybody to be, to be safe. <laughs> don't fool around with that stuff. <laughs> really don't. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not touch the stuff, to be perfectly honest. Okay, I think this is a red. Uh, 606. Yeah, I think it's a red. Okay. But yeah, don't mind me. Conversations go, like, everywhere. It doesn't necessarily make sense what I say. I can just go to various different topics, so yeah, don't mind me, we're just here diamond painting and chilling. Okay, 606. Yeah, we're just hanging out, it's all good. That's what matters. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a brighter red, and there's a purple in this. I don't think I have any more 606, do I? It wasn't one of the devils, was it? 815, 823, 814. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there's a lot of a certain color, you'll get another bag in your uh, kit, which I do have like three more bags of for three different colors, because, yeah. There are colors that uh, occur throughout the canvas the most, probably, or has the most of a side color, so, yeah. Generally, when you get a diamond pinning kit, it should have everything you need. And Diamond Art Club, which this is, gives you everything you need. If there are any problems, contact Diamond Art Club uh, once you realize you are missing uh, any component of your kit and they should get back to you pr fairly promptly so yeah it happens yeah drills do go missing or you get the wrong color just usually take a picture of your canvas if it's a symbol problem or yeah picture says a thousand words generally but yeah it's good if you give diamond art club or any company as much information as possible and uh, so they can help you in a timely manner. So, yeah, stuff does happen. Try not to freak out, but yeah. <laughs> Just uh, let Diamond Art Club help you. That's what they're there for. You bought the kit, they want you to be happy. I think that'd be the most important part. They want you diamond painting, not <laughs> having to. Uh, worry about stuff missing in your kit. They want to get you uh, diamond painting pretty quick. Back to diamond painting. So, no sweat. There's information on the bottom of your Diamond Art Club canvas. I'm not affiliated with Diamond Art Club in any way. This is a Diamond Art Club kit, obviously. But, yeah. Yeah, they have an information pamphlet. Yeah your instruction booklet that came with your kit that many veteran uh, diamond painters or experienced diamond painters uh, chuck in their YouTube videos. I just blatantly show everything in the kit even if I've showed a diamond art club before because it could be somebody's first video or uh, first uh, sight of a diamond art club kit. That, that's fine. No worries. No worries. Yeah, it's all good. I just blatantly do an unboxing <laughs> of what exactly you're going to get. That's why I do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> my unboxing videos can get fairly long-winded, but I'm physically showing you what you're getting in stated kit. <laughs> I'm very visual, so myself, so it helps me describe to the viewer and yeah, show exactly what you're going to get in a kit. Yep. It's usually a pink pen. This is a this was a gift for the channel. So yeah, <laughs> it's a very meaningful gift <laughs> for the channel. So yeah, yeah the symbolizes the unity between diamond painters, content creators, and uh, artisans or uh, woodworkers or, yeah, crafting artisans. Yeah, the unity and connection between the two, which uh, is crucial or means a lot to many content creators here on YouTube and the diamond painting community. Yeah. These uh, applicator pens mean a lot to people, a lot to diamond painters and uh, content creators who diamond paint alike. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this pen is, yeah, this applicator pen is very special. So I've used it ever since I received it, so. Yeah, I just started using it once I got it. <laughs> I just slid it in a YouTube video. One of my first few whipping chats, I believe. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, videos in my channel somewhere. So it's an earlier one. So, yep. This is like the only acrylic pen I have, like, yeah, fancy acrylic. I think it's acrylic. But, yep. I'm very careful with it. <laughs> it's basically slightly thicker than a pencil, but it has a nice little grip here. Nice little divot here. Perfect. I'm right-handed, so... Yeah, I, I just gave specific details, and uh, it was handcrafted to... Yeah. Handcrafted and given to me as a gift for the channel. Good as I kept getting comments, it's like, uh, don't you have a fancy pen? You should really have a fancy pen. <laughs> Lizzie's World of Gems, I believe. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. Thanks for telling me to get a fancy pen. It's really paid off. Thank you, Lizzie. Tons of hugs. Hello, Canadian. Yeah, birth. Canadian, too. But, regardless of where you're from, yeah, we all hang out in diamond paint and craft, so... That's what I'm sticking around for. That's what we're hanging out for. Help you diamond paint, chill, relax, while you craft. So, yeah, and a lot of you do the same for me. Uh, content creators, help me relax. At least, at the end of the day, it's just nice watching an un unboxing of a canvas, or definitely whipping chats. Uh, so many books, so little time. I, yeah, I have that canvas now, thanks to being inspired by a couple of content creators for sure. Yeah, you'll probably hear Randall Spangler, Chuck Pinson, and other artists a lot. I do try to blatantly mention uh, the artists that I'm working with. Well, every time. That's the sticker sheet for the I Am Kid here, Ravine Phil. Literally the artist and what the canvas is. I'll do that every time I'm working on a canvas. So um, I show that sticker sheet. I hope there might be one video where I haven't shown sticker sheet but I show it later maybe I could be wrong 
there might be one video where I did not show the sticker sheet. It happens, but yeah, you will generally know what I'm working on watching the video. Yep. Unboxings will always be a separate video. Yeah, that's what they have been, so it's easier. They're pretty close to 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes themselves, but yeah, it's detailed. Yeah. No problem. It's a new day or a fantastic day if you're seeing a diamond painting company's kit for the very first time. It could be a dreamer's design canvas. It could be a diamond art club. It could be a pretty neat creative. It could be craftably. Those are huge on here. I have a one of those new purple telescoping canvases for canvas that I ordered so and I have a white cardboard tube from totally didn't realize that I already had a craftably canvas but I have a 4.0 canvas now that was in that beautiful excellent quality uh, purple tube reusable purple tube telescoping tube that travel tube and that's what they're putting their kits in now, <laughs> craftably. Yep. I'm not affiliated with any diamond painting company. I'm just stating companies <laughs> that I've run into or experienced thus far. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's not always going to be Diamond Art Club. I do have Treasure Studios art canvas in mind, so yeah. A large portion of my stash is Diamond Art Club, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'm not going to do Diamond Art Club canvas after Diamond Art Car Club canvas. I'll try not to. Yeah, eventually, yeah. <laughs> Eventually I'll probably end up doing a Diamond Art Club canvas, but generally, yeah. Yeah, so I have Treasure Studios art craftably and Diamond Painting Deutschland. That's a huge canvas. I don't know. I have a couple of canvases in mind before I even try to do Luna because Luna is going to be a saga. That's a huge canvas. That's a hundred and fifty colors. So that's a really busy canvas and it's huge. Probably the biggest one I have. But I've probably said that before and I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I might have very well said that before. Okay, I think that's all 606. Cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's toss those back in. If I am wrong about something, yeah, feel free to correct me. Yeah, if I don't correct myself, it happens. Can always learn from a mistake or a happy accident. So, yeah, I can learn. It's not the end of the world if I get corrected about certain facts stuff. It's all good. Then I'll be able to relay the correction in a future whip and chat or something. So, yeah. <laughs> If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, so <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Just to uh, kind of correct the mistake. Okay, triple four, which is yellow, I believe. Okay. Yep, it's a yellow. Yeah, it's just that 
illegal sign or whatever. Nice vibrant yellow. Very nice yellow. Sunflower or smiley face kind of yellow. Would that be accurate? Triple four. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I know that colors are so exciting. I'm so sorry. I don't want people falling out of their chairs to extreme excitement. Oh my gosh, she's doing yellow now. Oh my god. Oh, paper bag. Ventilating. Hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. It's don't worry, it's just yellow. It's okay. We'll get through this. Let's take deep breaths. These colors are pretty cool. I'll admit, yes. Very vibrant. Which just encompasses a very beautiful piece. Like, yeah. So I saw somebody unbox this or seen it completed. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I really want this canvas now. Yep. And here we are. Yeah, isn't that every diamond painter's dilemma? And there's like, oh, that's an awesome canvas. But uh, yeah, I already have like uh, five or six other ones that uh, I just bought a month ago. <laughs> It looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Happens to the best of us. Hey, it could be a $20 Amazon kit or whatever. Yeah, hey, you're still diamond painting. I'm sticking by that. Doesn't have to be a dreamer's designs. Yeah. As long as you have like a diamond pen, pen in your hand and you're placing drills on a canvas, you're diamond painting. Don't have to be a big fancy company. Nope. 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 You're still diamond painting. You're still included. There's tons of beautiful canvases out there. Yuppers. Doesn't have to be a fancy schmancy diamond painting company. Nope. Nope. Just putting it out there. You can still have a beautiful piece of art that you enjoy doing with Amazon paintings, etc., etc. Yep. Don't be ashamed of your kits for any of your crafts. You're making a beautiful piece of work that you put time and effort into. So that's what counts. Do what you love doing. Yes. Doesn't have to be a fancy smash scene. Super expensive kit, nope. As long as you have everything you need, the canvas looks great, and yet yeah, you have all your drills and all that, and diamond painting pen, or a needle for kind of cross stitch. Yeah, I'm talking any craft here, not just diamond painting. As long as you have everything you need, and you enjoy what you're doing, then yeah. Go for it. Most important part. One of the kind of reasons for doing the channel. Reasons in general to diamond paint. Yeah, enjoy. I enjoy what I'm doing. I uh, enjoy the community. Yeah, and uh, the colors and the canvases that are out there. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, curiosity made the cat smarter. <laughs> uh, going beyond the box there. Yeah, burrs. Yeah, curiosity probably killed the cat too, but yeah, let's not. Yeah, we'll just say curiosity made the cat smarter. So, there you go. There you go. Yep, yep. Nope, tons of beautiful canvases out there. Keep showing them in the groups on Facebook. Tons of fun. Instagram as well. County cross stitches, yeah, any craft. Keep showing your work. People love that. I do. <laughs> Got my vote. Give her. You probably won't be seeing any cross stitch on this channel, unfortunately, but I'm diamond painting and coloring, so. Yeah, you're lucky if you get a coloring video every once in a while. Holy cow, I'm terrible. 
I did one today. I did a color and chat today and then went for lunch and then recorded for 10 more minutes to make the hour and then uh, posted it. I meant to go back to it today, but today just totally went flipsy flopsy and yeah. Out here now doing a diamond painting. I will finish that coloring page eventually. It's just, <gasps> wow. Yikes. Oh, a, a typical day on a day off, it can go anywhere. I don't, oh, excuse me. I don't plan ahead because I've had uh, disappointments or upsets before. Unless it's something really specific, like a, an appointment or, a, yeah, an appointment, something that I have to make an appointment for, or something really specific, then it's planned ahead. But otherwise, uh, it's kind of uh, putting a paper boat in a bathtub and hoping it floats the whole way across the bathtub. <laughs> without uh, becoming a soggy mess. <laughs> yeah. Living on the edge. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, try to keep it fairly calm. Yeah. Try. Mm. Make stuff too exciting around here. People might get jealous. But yeah, fairly calm. Try not to flip any tables or just totally lose it. If you wake up alive the next day, then it's a good place to start. But, yeah. Try to wake up with a smile on your face. But, yeah, it's a rough day every now and then. It's okay too. Hope you smile at least one point in your day, every day. Yeah. Or make somebody else smile. Yeah. See what happens. Just make that little bit of a difference. Somebody's day or your day. So yeah. It's worth a try. Uh, a little tiny bit of kindness holding the door for somebody or doing something for yourself, like just spending some time alone and crafting. Yeah. Just time by yourself or time with a significant other. It can be hard to do, but even just like a couple minutes or a nice greeting can make a difference in somebody's day. So, yeah, I don't say that all the time, but it's worth mentioning every now and then. Alright, there's a Nice patch of yellow here on the dragon's uh, neck here. So I'll just start here. So yeah. Yeah, just commenting on Facebook or wishing somebody a happy birthday when it's their birthday or just sending a quick hello yeah, it probably makes a huge difference to a friend or a significant other etc uh, fellow uh, Facebook group members yeah nice quick hello a quick catch up yeah it probably makes a big difference kind of like a uh, throwing a pebble into a pond it creates a ripple effect. It radiates out from where the pebble went under the surface of the water. So yeah, it can make a difference. Yeah, it makes a change in the status, like, quo, the normal, normalcy of everything surrounding the, yeah, action. <laughs> there you go there's some wisdom for today <laughs> just 
just thinking about that, I guess. Uh, you do not have a script here. Uh, just hang out. Sometimes it gets nitty gritty, and then sometimes it's just pure ghibli goosh. But yeah, whip and chatter regardless. Hanging out, diamond painting. Yep. <laughs> yep. Drinking coffee, you know. Well, not right now. I've had a few cups today. Ooh, unicorns. Yep. <laughs> or boo. Oh my gosh. Jumping two meters up in the air. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, had that couple glasses of water in between. Yeah, I really should be drinking more water, but... Coffee just has that just much, much more oomph to it. <laughs> much more yum. Usually I end up chugging water anyway, like a glass of water, just to get some into me. Lately it's been uh, electrolytes, which are like in Gatorade. I think it's like sodium, a mix of sodium and some vitamins maybe, which uh, just kind of balance the electrolytes in your brain. Because uh, if your electrolytes are out of whack, like from heat stress and stuff, you... Oh, it's a dreadful feeling. I had that feeling at work and oh boy, I was nauseous and... Yeah, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> it gets hot where I work in my department. So I go to the walk to the water fountain on purpose. Yeah. I take electrolytes and drink a swig of them throughout the day like you just put it in like a bottle of water and you pour this uh, mixture into the water shake it really well and then yeah, I just drink it and then yeah I just take a swig of that electrolyte mix some sort of berry mix but yeah Gatorade works too it's the same thing but Probably tons more sugar or something. I, I don't know. I can't say. But the principle is you're hydrated. You're efficient, efficiently hydrated. Yeah, to keep, help your body cool down and stuff and regulate its function, the cooling down function. Because if you're dehydrated, you're generally, uh, your body's overheating and trying to compensate, like cool down. But it can't properly because you don't have enough uh, water in your body or you're not hydrated properly. Yeah. It can make your heart work harder. Yeah. You... Yeah, if you stop sweating and you're in a hot environment, yeah, I'd uh, call for help and move to a cooler location. Heat stress, if you stop sweating, that's a sign of uh, heat stroke, uh, rashing of the skin, blistering, uh, dry mouth, uh, dizziness, nauseous, nausea, uh, fatigue. Yeah, I kind of watch uh, people at work. Uh, notice goes up like every, when it gets hot, every summer here in Canada. Yeah, I... There's heat stroke, like signs of heat stroke posted, and just to watch your coworkers and yourself. Yeah, stay hydrated. Yeah, go move to a cooler location or a shady location for a few minutes to yeah take a break. Take a break if it's hot. Yeah, air conditioning is probably hard in some locations. Uh, fans. Yeah, they just blow that hot air around, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's just recirculating the hot air. So, uh, if there's like a heat shelter, I, I hear it all the time in Toronto about heat shelters, uh, where it's like air conditioned. It could be like a library or an arena or something, and they stay, or cooling centers. Same thing, heat shelter. Yeah, just try and get out of the heat, stay hydrated. 
you can't get Gatorade or something. Yeah, water at the very least. Something to, yeah, keep your body, replace the sweating, like, to help you sweat again. Because, yeah, if you're sweating, it's good. But you got to replenish that. Lost, any lost fluids, like, any lost water in your body. Because your body's, like, 80% water, I believe. Yeah, it's your blood, it's, yeah, uh, organ function, yeah, <laughs> helps aids in digestion, like water, yeah, helps you digest your food, yeah, we're like 80% water, <laughs> I believe, I seen it a while ago, it is mentioned somewhere, it does show up every now and then. Usually if there's stuff about heat stress, then, uh, yeah, they state facts about your body's 80% of water, so you gotta replenish, stay hydrated for, so you don't faint or pass out. Still could even if you, yeah, it's just prolonged exposure to heat over time, time and temperature generally. Yeah, and if you ignore your symptoms, it, it could be fatal. Yeah, it's not good. If you start feeling like garbage, yeah, find a cooler location, get some water into you. Uh, tell somebody. Yeah. Yeah, just let somebody know. Communi communicate. Yeah. Yeah, just get help if you're if you can to uh, manage at that very moment because you could have like momentarily weak momentarily weakness or you won't be able to stand or something yeah just call for help anything text somebody call somebody and they can get help yeah i don't know. yeah just a couple heat stress kind of things is at work I have a radio clip to me I can call for help it's really desperate it just calls every department except for maintenance but generally hopefully somebody like hears call for help if I'm in trouble yeah <laughs> Yeah, if I was on the ground or like uh, bleeding from an appendage or something or got a cut, yeah, it just, yeah, I just interrupt the silence of the workplace, like the radio silence and yeah, just shake things up a bit because <laughs> uh, the sooner you get medical attention or help to aid a condition or an injury, uh, the better you'll be, the better off you will be, so, yeah, don't be afraid to ask for help, it's just, even though it may feel embarrassing at the time, if you're, like, bleeding, uh, there's a, <laughs> if you're bleeding or, like, on the ground, um, nearly unconscious or you can't physically move, yeah, it, it's time to get some help. I'm sure people can drop what they're doing and, yeah, um, help <laughs> or get emergency services there. That's the most important part, just medical attention quick, just to get you feeling better or prevent you from further injury or, yeah, to stave off the symptoms of heat stroke or the injury. Or before your body goes into shock and, yeah, you're beyond being able to control your actions. So, or you go unconscious, yeah. Yeah, that, that's why you call for help right away. Or somebody nearby, they, yeah, just do something. 
get attention to yourself and uh, just get help. Yeah, uh, for the basic stuff, yeah, I still don't like asking for help because I'm there to run that department. But they're like, hey, hey, radio, if you need help with something, yeah, just call for assistance. Like, it's okay. Well, somebody will get there. <laughs> oh, I just feel so bad because everybody else is doing their own thing, their own department, and uh, bet you just get, uh, you could hear the groan. <laughs> they probably just go, ah. Oh to go into there again that department again like right after they uh take their finger off the radio button to reply back <laughs> i just think that like almost every time i try to ask for something get that like audible groan that they <laughs> or be like oh i don't have to help this guy it's not my department but yeah <laughs> that's the maintenance manager in my uh supervisor it's like yeah just just radio for help it's like i should be able to do this but guess not <laughs> should be able to put my line back together but pneumatics and uh gaskets and uh heavy pipe not easy to do by myself but i've done it by myself a couple nights at like two in the two or three in the morning and spent like 30 to 45 minutes with the line down like the line can't run if this pneumatic line is not together and it's like clamped together in sections and it's holy cow the pipe just does not line up and it's like screw on hinged gaskets and it's just oh man one thing after the other <laughs> some nights i just there's some days I just want to just go home after <laughs> terrible day. Sometimes then one thing after the other, there, there are days where it's just terrible. Just like, why am I here today? <laughs> but hey, I keep coming back. <laughs> if I quit, that department's not going to run. <laughs> had like two full-time people leave already. The guy who recommended me to go work there, which I'm entirely grateful to them, but he left <laughs> shortly after I got the job. It's like, oh, I have a family now, so that uh, these hours aren't working for me because I have to do like four weeks days, four weeks midnight. So I'm okay with it. But anyway... Yeah, that was quite the hour. So uh, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. As always, down below in the description below the video, I always say this, hopefully, generally. Uh, I have my Facebook profile name, uh, my Facebook business page, Echoes of Color, same name. Yeah, Facebook business page, just updates. Yeah, all three are technically updates for the channel. Uh, and, uh, Instagram is the third. And, yeah, I just post, yeah, once I complete this section, I'll take a picture of it and then post it on Instagram. It's an every once in a while posting on the Echoes of Color Facebook business page. It shows up on my personal Facebook, which is the first. It says Facebook and then my first and last name. Yeah, the posts, like, seem to show up on all three because of Instagram. Because Instagram automatically posts stuff to my personal Facebook page. Anyway, irregardless, that's how you can reach me, Facebook Messenger. If you want, uh, comment here below the video in the comments section. Yeah. Uh, Instagram, of course, you can follow me there. Facebook, yeah, you can like me or something. Whatever that is. But yeah, now I'll get this edited and post it up. Hopefully tomorrow goes a little better. I can do another color in chat because I usually finish a color. Finish coloring a section or whatever before 
<laughs> I finished the video, but the hour cut off. It was a very creative. You'll hear my dad's voice in the color and chat. You'll <laughs> hear, hear my mom or something. Mom or dad or something in a couple of the videos, and I just leave it in. It's just, these are pretty, I just hit record and, yeah, we hang out for the hour, so, or so. All right, take care, have a great day, and uh, see you around. Happy birthday, if you're birthday today. <laughs> see ya.